All right, let's get into it. Hey everyone, my name is Zach. I am a videographer and a pastor, but more importantly than that, I am a husband and a father. And in just about a week, my wife is going to give birth to our first son, uh, second child. Uh, and I thought I would share with you what I'm packing, what I'm bringing to the hospital, uh, just so that if you are about to have a kid, you might have an idea of what other dads are bringing or should bring or shouldn't bring. Now, two years ago, my wife gave birth to our daughter. Hi, Blair. Yes, go lay down. Hi. Hi. You wanna come say hi to everybody? Say hi, Blair. Say hi. High five. High five. So I just threw some stuff in the bag ended up not using some of the stuff that we brought, ended up regretting not bringing some things that I left at home. Uh, so this time I'm a little bit more prepared. My wife is gonna be induced again because of her high blood pressure. Um, but I thought, you know, while I'm packing this bag, again, if there's some dads out there who have no idea what to bring, uh, maybe this little insight uh, can help you learn from what I failed to bring last time and what I brought that didn't actually need. Okay, so first things first, go ahead and grab yourself a small to medium sized duffel bag. You're probably gonna end up being at the hospital for two, maybe three nights. So you don't need like a giant rolling suitcase. Uh, a duffel bag will do the trick just fine. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna start with clothes that you are comfortable in. So uh, I have two packing cubes here and I just, in this first one, uh, have an extra pair of joggers, which needs to go in this one, uh, but then just underwear and socks, um, obviously enough for the amount of days that we're gonna be at the hospital. Um, and then in this big one, I have, oops, there goes a the shirt. I've got a couple of t-shirts, uh, just comfy shirts that I love. Um, also, key thing here is make sure to pack clothes that your wife likes to see you in. Um, there are certain clothes that my wife likes me in and certain clothes that she doesn't like me in. And so I was smart enough this time uh, to pack the clothes that my wife likes me in. So for example, I love wearing this hat. Uh, she doesn't love this hat as much. So I'm packing a different hat to wear. Uh, but I've got a couple of t-shirts in here. Um, I've got uh, some sweats to sleep in, um, some sweats to wear, and then uh, a, a hoodie that my wife loves. Um, as well as one pair of like nice jeans uh, because I know we'll probably get some photos taken while we're in the hospital and so I want to look decent for those. Uh, but the key thing here is to be comfortable. You're gonna be, you know, doing work at the hospital uh, as you're helping your wife. And so bring something that you can be comfortable in, uh, that you can kind of move around in. Um, so I suggest sweatpants, but that's up to you. Okay, so next is toiletries. Uh, honestly, just pack whatever you would typically pack in your toiletry bag. So shampoo, body wash, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, all of that stuff. Uh, and honestly, really the only real suggestion I have here is pack your own ibuprofen, meds, stuff like that. Uh, I've heard stories about dads who have asked for ibuprofen because of a headache and they get charged a crazy amount. Uh, so just skip all that and pack your own so you've got it. Now here's the thing I forgot to pack last time, uh, a nice pair of slippers. You're gonna be on your feet a lot. And so you wanna be wearing something that is comfortable for you. So if that's tennis shoes for you, then pack a nice pair of tennis shoes. I'm the kind of guy that if I'm wanting to be comfortable, I'm not wearing tennis shoes, I'm wearing slippers. As soon as I walk in the door at home, I kick off my shoes and I put my slippers on. Uh, so I'm gonna be wearing slippers because I know I want to be comfortable. I'm gonna be on my feet a lot supporting my wife, uh, running and getting snacks or walking down the hallway with her. Uh, so these Allbird slippers, while they look kind of ugly a little bit, uh, they are so comfortable. So highly recommend bring comfortable shoes, slippers, great choice. Okay, so now on to the non-clothes section. The first thing I recommend bringing is your own blanket and pillow. Uh, while it's somewhat true that the beds for dads or the chairs or couches or whatever are not comfortable at the hospital, last time for me, it wasn't really the bed that was uncomfortable, it was more the pillow and the blankets. The pillow just wasn't firm enough, blanket was scratchy. So this time I'm packing my own blanket, my own pillow, uh, so that I can be good to go and actually be able to sleep through the night, hopefully. Minus, you know, when little man wakes up for feeding and stuff like that. So pack your own pillow and blanket. 
Alongside that, I'm also bringing uh, an eye mask um, because last time, the first night we got there, uh, we, my wife started her induction process. Uh, we thought we were gonna get a good night's sleep um, and my wife did. She slept all the way through the night. I did not because the nurses kept coming in to check on my wife, uh, which just kind of woke me up when they would turn lights on, stuff like that. So this time I'm bringing an eye mask so that I can hopefully sleep through the night the first night um, and be comfy. This thing seems pretty comfortable. I haven't actually used it for a night's sleep, um, but seems like it'll do the trick. I can't see a thing. That's good. Okay, now for entertainment. Uh, first, let me say that this stuff you could pack and literally never touch. And if your wife tells you not to touch it, then don't. But there could be some downtime. Uh, for us, last time, my wife's labor was honestly really easy. And so there was a lot of time where we were just kind of sitting around and talking with her mom and the nurses and stuff like that. And so this time around, uh, I'm bringing a few entertainment pieces with me. I've got my iPad loaded with a few shows. I've got a Kindle with some different books, uh, as well as my Switch, uh, working through Assassin's Creed right now. Um, and then I've got my camera, which I think this one is important. If you forget everything else, just bring a camera. Make sure you're having a camera with you to take photos uh, of the process. Obviously be there to support your wife, um, but you're gonna wanna remember this, so take some photos. I'm always one of those people that suggests against iPhone, but if that's all you've got, make sure you're taking some photos during it. This is the Fujifilm X100F, awesome little camera for family photography. Highly recommend that. But again, you may not touch this stuff. Uh, you may not be allowed to touch this stuff, and that's totally okay. To me, it's all small and packable, and so it doesn't matter if I bring it and not end up using it. But I'd rather have it and get to play a little Switch or read a little bit of a book uh, in the downtime. So, okay, so going alongside electronics, you're gonna wanna make sure you pack your chargers. Obviously, you get your phone charger, whatever other devices you're bringing with you, make sure you bring chargers as well. But the key thing here is to bring some sort of uh, surge protector or power strip uh, because a lot of the times at hospitals, you can find an outlet and they've got tons of outlets, but they've got a lot of stuff plugged into them. So uh, I'm bringing this little power bank thing. I don't necessarily know how to describe it, uh, but it's got two USB and two USB-C ports on it uh, and just plugs into one outlet. So that's great to be able to charge all of our devices. All of our devices plug into that. Um, so that's a must have for the hospital stay. Okay, moving on to the baby stuff. Now here's where I messed up last time. My wife is the one who packs all the baby stuff pretty much, so literally I went and pulled all of this stuff from her baby bag. Um, let's not tell her that. Anyways, she packs all of the stuff. I will tell you the things that I think are important to bring, but then also the big thing that I messed up on last time is I ended up bringing a bunch of diapers, wipes, uh, all that sort of stuff that I thought was important to bring. Um, but the hospital actually has all that stuff provided for you. So leave your own stash at home, use the hospital stuff, and then on the way out, make sure you fill up your bag with what's left over in the room because they're gonna charge you for it no matter what. So take that home and fill your stash up with that at home. But here are a few things that I think are super important to bring to the hospital when it comes to babies. Again, my guess is most moms are gonna be taking care of this stuff, but if you wanna take care of it for your wife, go right ahead. Uh, you're gonna want to make sure they have some clothes. So in here, my wife has uh, like their going home outfit, their you know announcement, his announcements photo outfit, um, a swaddle, which is really really important to have. And if you don't know how to swaddle a baby, I would recommend watch some YouTube videos, practice on like a doll or uh, a sack of sugar or flour, something like that, whatever you have. Practice on it before baby comes home. So that way when you're in the hospital and you're supposed to do it, you know what, you feel like you know what you're doing and you don't feel like, ooh, what is happening here? So swaddle, uh, blanket, um, and then I'm packing my little man's uh, buffalo. This is Billy the Buffalo. We brought my daughter, Ellie the Elephant, to the hospital and so we're bringing Billy the Buffalo. Um, but then the two things that are super, super important that I highly recommend is one, just this little sound machine. So this is uh, a portable little sound machine by Hush. Uh, it's awesome. We used it all the time with Mia when she was a baby. Um, and it's just nice to have at the hospital. You don't have to plug it in. You might have to charge it, but you don't have to like plug it into an outlet. And then uh, this little lamp by Vava is super nice. 
you just double tap it. I don't think it's charged. Wait. Oh, it is charged. So you just double tap it to turn it on and off. Um, and then if you tap, like kind of hold, it'll actually change the intensity. Um, and then you can actually change the color temperature as well. So you can go from a cool light to a warm light. Um, and this is just really nice to have when you're at the hospital or when you're at home feeding, uh, because then you don't have to turn on all of like the hospital lights in the middle of the night to feed baby. Um, you just have to turn on this little guy and it's perfect. It doesn't fully wake up the baby. Um, so highly recommend those two things. Get those, bring those to the hospital with you. Uh, if your wife doesn't have them already, throw them on your Amazon list and get those. I should have taken a photo of how she had these in her bag so that I could put them precisely back. Oops. Okay, so now on to the really important stuff. The things to support your wife. So big things here are bring snacks. Snacks that your wife likes, but also snacks that will give her energy. Obviously bring some snacks for yourself as well because you're gonna need energy, but this is going to be a long process. It's going to be a tiring process. Uh, and it's important to make sure you're getting energy uh, and you're getting your wife energy. So uh, bring some snacks. I still need to go out and get a few more snacks, um, but we love Bischoff cookies. Those are great little filling snacks. Uh, the other big thing is I suggest bringing a speaker. So uh, just bringing this portable little speaker, my wife has set up a playlist for music that she wants to have playing while during the birth process. Um, so this is nice to have you know, so you can have music kind of playing in the background, help being, you know, stress relieving. Uh, she's got a worship playlist and so it kind of helps encourage her and motivate her. I've seen other couples who bring uh, support cards with them to the hospital where they take Bible verses and they write them on note cards and it just kind of helps encourage and motivate mom uh, through the process. You can do that as well. And then if you want to, a push present is always something that moms love. Uh, my wife actually found out about her push present early uh, and so she's already been given her push present. But uh, if you're going to give a gift to your wife for going through all of this hard work, all of this labor, not just this day, but also the past nine months, that's a great idea. Okay, so that's everything that's in my hospital bag. Now I am bringing a second bag, which is my camera bag. So uh, this may not be something that you feel is important or you want to do, uh, but for my family, we like to actually record the birth. Uh, my wife will probably turn it into a vlog, but then also just kind of having it as home videos, stuff that we can remember. Um, and so in here, I'll quickly, quickly go through, because this is not the point of this video, but I'll quickly go through what camera stuff I'm bringing for the birth process. Uh, starting off, we've just got a tripod, so we can set up the camera and kind of ignore it. Um, in here, I've got super basic setup. I've got one camera, this is the Canon EOS R with a Sigma 24 to 70 lens. Um, I've got uh, a little microphone. This is the Deity Duo that will just go on top of it, capture the audio from what's happening in the room. Um, I've got a second tinier tripod and that's more for, where is it? It's not in here. That's more for this, which is the DJI Pocket 2. This is our vlog camera. So uh, we'll be using this throughout the process, but you can put a little uh, mount on it and just kind of clip it to the tripod. So we'll be bringing that. Um, extra batteries for the camera. Um, and then just this little aperture uh, MC light, which will kind of help fill out the space with light if we need it. So super basic little uh, camera setup, but this will do great for us to be able to capture the birth for home video, as well as uh, it, if my wife ends up making a little vlog video. And I do think I'm gonna do a video after my son is born and try to give some tips on uh, if you want to make your own birth video, uh, just a compilation of the birth, I'll try to give some tips on that. So be on the lookout for that video. Okay, so that's it. That's everything that's in my hospital bag. Uh, well, it's not actually in there right now. It's all on the floor and I need to throw it back in there. But that's everything I'm going to be bringing with me to the hospital for the birth of my son. I hope this gave you some ideas. Ooh, I totally forgot. Pack a pair of swim trunks. Some hospitals have uh, birth tubs um, and some wives like to try to labor or even birth in the tub. Uh, at the hospital that we go to, you're not actually able to give birth in the tub, but you are able to labor in the tub. And so last time my wife ended up laboring in the tub for a little bit, as well as spending like two hours in the shower 
uh, on a birth ball and I was just kind of back there spraying water on her. So bring some swim trunks with you uh, in case you need to use those as well. Almost forgot about that. But yeah, other than that, that's everything that's in uh, the hospital bag that we're gonna be bringing with us from a dad's point of view. Uh, my wife obviously has some additional things, um, which if your wife is trying to figure out what she should bring, I'll link to my wife's video uh, up here and she can go check that out. But I hope this has been helpful. Uh, we wish you the best of luck with your birth process. We're praying for you guys out there uh, and we'll catch up with you guys after our little man's here.